Okay, so right now my son is unscrewing the screws holding the power supply board in because we want to replace the reefer capacitors on the Osborne because they tend to explode. Okay, so my son took out the power supply. Before disconnecting it, we took some pictures to make sure we can put things back in the proper spots. So reefa capacitors are like toddlers. They're prone to meltdowns and exploding, which is why we're gonna replace these old yellow uh, death traps waiting to happen with these new shiny reefa capacitors. Okay, so my son soldered these new capacitors in. Let's hope this doesn't explode. These buckles here are turned into the Tetanus 2000. Okay, so we have the faceplate back on and the case back on. And it seems that Professor Lanterman's Osborne journey has come to an end. Okay. Learning CPM and help. Oh, C basic. To create a program, type in the source code using the non-document option in Wordstar. Bass. Oh, is that compiled basic? Huh. I think so. Oh, okay. No. I'm gonna try to turn. Okay, escape. And let's do the B drive test again. God, I love it when I'm able to finally repair a machine after ages of trying. Okay, let's do DIR. Let's see, try running program. Set up position, say no. All right, so we have a working Osborne One. I declare this restoration complete. All right, we've got this finished. Well, looks like it's time to head home. Good thing this is a portable computer. Portable. <laughs> 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 <laughs>